Hi guys, I am back with another video. Um, came to address some questions like, I'm so tired of the negativity. If you don't trust what I'm saying, then don't watch my videos. If you feel some type of way about what I'm doing or how I'm doing, whatever it is that I'm doing, don't watch my videos. It's just as simple as that. Like, don't, I know people have comments on certain things, but just being so negative, like, being so negative, like a lot of YouTubers get bullied and have people coming for them and have people saying certain things. Of course, you know you're gonna get some of that, but just the constant, you know, same people steady saying the same thing or steady coming back with something. Apparently, you either don't like me, don't like what I'm saying, don't like my channel, don't like something about me. The reason why you have so many comments, then to have a nerd to come in my email comment. The email is for business purposes or if you might want to ask me a little something about maybe i didn't get what you were saying on this which most of those you should leave them down in the comment section but you know every once in a while you're gonna get somebody that need a little extra help with something that didn't quite you know quite get what you were saying and figure you know i'll email this person and maybe i'll get more of an understanding i get that don't come up in my emails talking junk or being negative about something I'd rather you leave those in the comment section. I'd rather you really not even watch my videos, even comment on anything I, I have going on because apparently you don't trust what I'm saying. You don't like what I'm saying. You don't like my videos. You don't like something about me. Something. I don't know. But I'm, I'm tired of it. It's enough. It's enough. Just like they said at cyberbullying. Because believe me, half of that stuff that you say, you want to say it to the person's face. All right. No, I'm going to give you a better example. You had a child. You had a girlfriend, mother, whatever the case may be. Would you want somebody saying it to your child, your mother, girlfriend, wife, or whatever? No, you wouldn't. I'm on my channel. I started my channel out, first of all, a long time ago, just putting up stuff with my son. Then I said, I'm going to go on here and vent. Because, you know, I pulled all my edges out. So I said, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to vent. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell people about my story. I'm trying to get my hair to grow back. See if I can get some help for people that may have went through the same thing. And if mine grow back, then maybe I can help some people out there, too, that, you know, can't get their grow back. It's not gonna, what I do is not gonna work for everybody. I'm putting my story out here. I'm asking you guys questions, trying to see how I can fix my hair. Or if I do, you know, I did get some growth and maybe I can help somebody else get some growth. But just please stop with the negativity. It's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. No people have comments. All the comments ain't gonna necessarily be good, nice comments. Oh, girl, you did it. No, I know it's not gonna be that. But when you negative to the point where you're, oh, you bald, or oh, you this, oh, you that. Uh, what is the title of my video in most places? It's got the word bald in it. Like, okay, I don't need you to remind me that. So, anyway, I'm here to address some questions. People want to know, for one, why you keep posting the picture of when you shaved your hair off? Um, Because that's where I started from. So, of course, when you're doing a hair growth video, you want to show where you started from and where you ended at. Duh. So, hmm question answered um they want to know why you keep combing hair over your your edges if your so-called edges so-called bald edges supposed to grow back why are you doing a comb over first of all i don't want a short hairstyle it's a certain way i like my hair to be everybody got their own preferences of how they want their hair to be i comb my hair this way this is how i like my edges to be when i have a short hairstyle might not like yours like that don't do yours like that if you don't like it like that but it's not necessarily a comb over to um cover up my edges more so which it, it does cover it up and it makes it look thicker but that's not necessarily to say that my hair didn't grow back and i'm trying to hide the fact that my hair didn't grow back no that's not what it is because I, I grew edges back like i said from the get-go my edges were never thick from the get-go when I was a little girl, I never had thick edges. And at that time, I didn't have relaxers. So people like, oh, your edges be thin because you got relaxers or whatever the case was. When I was little, I was a little girl. I didn't have no relaxers. I was a baby. I had thick hair everywhere else, but my, my um, edges just were never thick. But what happened to me was my edges got pulled out, and I was trying to get that part to grow back. So basically, my edges is back and then some. So, I mean... I have edges. What I mean, what do you call that? And they like, oh, you got a comb over, you comb over. That's the edges right here. That's that's it right there. That's this. I pulled it back just so y'all can see. I like to rock my hair like this because my hair is short. I cut my hair off because that's what I like. I grew hair. So you can't say, oh, you can't grow hair. I don't past all that. My hair grew here. You guys see it. I like my hair short. My hair.
husband who loves my hair short. Guess what? That's all that matters as long as I like it. And then my husband loves it. So guess what? Hmm, I'm good to go. But anyway, this is my edges. So stop saying, you know, I'm just combing, oh, combing my hair over my edges because I have no edges. No, I just like the way it looks. It blends better like this. It looks better like this. Like, it's just how I like my hair. So they're quick to say, she has no edges, so that's why she wear her hair like this is the side where I had no edges. My edges got put on this side a little bit too, but this side grew back faster and it wasn't as bad. This is the side that was actually bald and I have edges, so y'all stop with the negativity. Like apparently what I was doing is working. Matter of fact, when I got up this morning, what made me think about it was because some of the emails I got, and it's not like it's down in the comment section. Most of the, e most of the stuff is in my email was talking about my hair. Why are you this or why are you that? Why are you doing this? Why are you not showing your edges? And then when I do show it in the video, it's like, why she keep talking about them same edges? Hmm, make up your mind. Like, really, make up your mind. Why I ain't doing a video about my edges? Same person. Why is she making another video about them same edges? They ain't grew no more. I cut my edges up like three or four times. And then this time when I cut it down here, you see, it's lined up. Yeah. It's lined up, so I like to cut it to get it thicker. Okay, like I, I don't, I just don't get people. But anyway, y'all that wanted to comment and want to know about my edges, these are my edges. My edges have never been thick at all. They'll grow in length, but thickness, I don't think I'm gonna ever get that thick thickness. But this is better than my edges have ever been, even when I was smaller. Like the stuff I'm putting on my hair, like this right here. I've never had all of that. Now, when I was younger, my brother used to call me wolf because I would grow all this hair all around here. But I would never grow it down like this far, like this much, see? Like that is on my forehead, that's not, you know. But I mean, it's, it's growing back, y'all. So give it a chance. This ain't something that's just gonna, you know, just be there. I worked hard for my little edges that I got and I'm satisfied with my edges, that's why I cut my hair off and I'm doing what I do because I'm happy with it now. I'm not feeling any kind of way about my edges right now. That's my edges, okay? Okay, I combed it back, made a little section in the front so you can see it's my edges, not the hair pulled from back here. It's my edges, you see it part it off. And no, it ain't, that's another thing. Well, I had a nerd to ask me, did I have a fake piece of hair up there? Did I have fake skin on the side of my darn head when I supposedly shaved my hair off? Y'all sit right there and watch me shave my darn hair. Y'all seen the videos after that when I start growing my hair in. No, this right, if, if I made a darn wig that, that looked like that, like something, something wrong. Yeah, I don't think nobody wanna make no wig that look like that. Ain't nobody gonna go that far. Like y'all, y'all so, so ignorant sometimes. I'm gonna put it just like that. I'm tired of being nice about the whole situation. Y'all so ignorant sometimes, like, I put fake skin on the side of my darn head to make it look like I was bald. And y'all that keep coming with these comments, go watch the other videos and y'all will see like what's going on with me. And I gotta do a video about my darn acne, my, my acne with this weather up and down be like killing me. Oh my gosh, it's been killing me. So I gotta do a video on that too. And I got, make sure you, you watch my other chit chat video with some other questions that people been asking me. And on that video, I'm actually been on my hair. I didn't want to do my hair on here because I want to come show y'all that I do got a little bit of edges. There ain't a lot there. I ain't claim for it to be a lot there. You know, and then that's another thing. They be like, oh shit, yeah, like she got so much hair on the side from what she was doing. To go from bald to have even a little sprout out the side of your darn head is good. So I was happy when I even got a little uh, peach fuzz on the side of my darn head because I was bald. Completely bald on the side of my head and to have some peach fuzz to have anything. That right there is darn plus. I don't care what nobody say. I'm happy about it. I'm good to go. My husband happy about it. He's good to go. As long as we happy over here, we good to go. But anyway, like I said, people would just be with the nonsense. Like I say, stop watching people's videos and just being completely negative. Now, everybody ain't going to always be nice. There's gonna be some negative comments, but to say, oh, I don't like that person, or oh, she fake, or oh, she this, or oh, she that, just don't watch the videos, please. Just don't watch the video. And I don't need all the negative comments. When my son watches some of my videos, and he's like, mommy, you're doing good, and 
I just be hoping he don't read some of them comments because y'all just are too far out there in some of these comments. Anyway, I'm making my next video soon. I'm going to be doing my hair, this little style that I want to do. And I'm going to be telling y'all about something else that somebody wrote me in my email. Like, this one right here is going to be hilarious. Kind of hurt my feelings for a little bit. But then I start laughing like, these people are just so stupid. Anybody that knows me, stupid is not one of my words that I, I like to use. But these people are like really stupid, so I kind of was like, whatever. Hurt my feelings for a minute, but anyway, y'all go check out that video too. I'll be making that video next. But anyway, leave comments below. You know, those that have been following my journey, have my hair not grown? Tell me, have my hair not grown? My, well, my edges, have they not grown? They, they've grown. They may not be thick, and they probably won't get any thicker than this. But I still use my, my little mixture and everything like that. I'll leave the mixture information down below the video so you can go watch there how to make the mixture, whatever. If you don't want to make it, you don't trust it, you don't believe it, or you think, oh, she's using too much of this, or she's not using enough of that, or she just concoct your own mixture. Maybe take some from mine and make your own, or just make your own mixture and don't copy none of mine. Just leave mine all the way alone. If you don't want to believe it, you don't think it's working, because apparently it worked for me. Might not work for you, might not work for nobody else, but it worked for me. And to believe, believe it, people have left comments saying it worked for them, like older people that has not, <clears throat> excuse me, has not had hair growth in years. Like they've been bald in spots for years and it's working for them. So at least I help some people. That's all that matters. Anyway, give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my Amazon shop. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link below for how to make the mixture if you want to use it. Please don't leave no negative comments in here because I don't delight hearing it. You can go somewhere else with that. Go make your own channel and tell the, the truth on your channel of how to do things since you know everything. All right, guys, everybody be blessed, and even those that are being negative, everybody be blessed. And thank you.